Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to send money for cash pickup using Western Union online and on mobile. If you're using the Western Union desktop website or mobile app, don't worry, the steps are basically the same. I've also broken down the whole process into easy to follow segments, so feel free to pause or revisit any section using the chapters below. Firstly, let's navigate to the Western Union website. You can find it at westernunion.com or through the link in the video description. That's an affiliate link, so by using it, you'll be supporting myself and the channel. If you're new to Western Union, you'll need to set up an account. To do this, click the menu option in the top right corner of the homepage and then register. If you've come through our affiliate link, the layout might vary slightly, but the registration process remains the same. Also, make sure your personal details are accurate and match your ID. This will help ensure that your transfer goes smoothly. Once logged in, we need to select our receiver's country. And if you don't see this option immediately, just head to the menu and select send money. For the sake of the video, I'll pick Poland as my receiver's country. Then input the amount you want to send in your local currency. For me, that's British pounds and I'll enter 500. Next, we'll select cash. This means our recipient will be going to a Western Union agent location in their country to collect the money. When choosing your payment method, take a close look at the fees and exchange rates listed under each option. If you look at the fees for pay online, and then compare them to pay in store, you'll see that this option costs a lot more and results in my recipient receiving less money. So where possible, always try to pay online and via bank transfer. It's not the fastest method as you will have to transfer money to Western Union's bank account, but it's always fee free and comes with the best exchange rates. Now, if we scroll down, we can see the final amount our recipient will receive. It's crucial you review this amount and if you're happy with it, click continue. After accepting any fraud prevention notifications, it's time to enter the receiver's details. If you're sending to someone else, select add new receiver. For cash pickup, it's crucial that the recipient's name and details on their ID match exactly what you enter. That's because your receiver is going to need to show their ID when they collect the cash. You must also enter their phone number, purpose of transaction, and source of funds. If they don't have a telephone number or you don't know it, then just enter your own. Depending on your location and transfer amount, you may now need to verify your identity or provide further information. This is a standard requirement due to financial regulation and it isn't something to worry about. Once that's all entered, double check your name and address are correct and as they appear on your ID. If you're happy, click continue. At this stage, Western Union may also ask you to upload a photo of your ID. Again, this will depend on your location and transfer amount. But if they do, then you can use something like a passport, driver's license, license or any government issued ID. Finally, we just have to review and confirm that the transfer details are all correct. If you chose to pay for the transfer via debit or credit card, then you will now need to enter those details. Remember, credit card transactions might incur extra fees as your provider may consider this a cash advance transaction. If you're happy with the transfer summary and you're not sending this transaction on behalf of another person, then tick this box and click accept. Western Union will now show you their bank details and also give you a deadline for transferring the money. Pay close attention to these details, especially the payment reference as that must be 100% correct for the transfer to go through. All of this will also be emailed to you and that will include this MTCN number, which is a tracking number that you and your receiver can use to follow the transfer. Tracking can be found by visiting this link. Just make sure to select whether you're the sender or the receiver. Finally, and most importantly, make sure your friend or receiver goes to collect the money with their ID. They'll need this in order to collect it. If they don't have it, they will be refused. They can also collect the money at any Western Union location in their country. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll be happy to assist you. And if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.